Hello, everyone, and welcome back to Enter the Ether, the new podcast all about the upcoming third-person MOBA, Ethereal Clash of Souls. Joining me as, oh, I'm the man goose, but joining me as always is my friend and co-host, Jelly Knees. How you doing, Jelly? I'm great, man goose. Happy to be here. And we have a third person with us this week. That we kind do. of crazy. I wonder who that is. No, oh, that's, 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 uh, that's UG Mud right there, who worked on the marketing team, if I'm not yes. crazy. Yes. Um, so, Mud, give us like a general like overview about what you do for UG. Uh, okay, so I do work on marketing, as you mentioned. I also dabble slightly into the community realm of sorts as well. And they're kind of under a whole, they kind of go hand in hand, usually. Um, if we're putting something out for the community, it's generally because of us. Um, or lack thereof, as of recently, but that's okay. Um, so <laughs> I usually do a lot of, we were planning a lot of things coming up. And we're going to be planning like all of the posts, how the information is going to be coming out. The order in which things come out is the main part of it. And then the other flip side, community wise, um, I usually try to answer questions in the Discord. I try to interact with the with our community base. Um, yeah, I also do a little bit of work on the social medias. But other than that, that's about it. And there is a reason we've got mud on this week, as you may have already been able to see. We've all three got Undying Games shirts on. What's up? <laughs> no. Jelly has probably the fanciest one. Oh, oh the yes. Absolute yes, yes, best. Yes. Black and white. Mm -hmm. It's oh, it's incredible. So it's, it's got zero soft. on the top and a run on the bottom, right? Correct. You can't quite see the bottom. Correct. Yeah. So jump up and yeah. down a bit. It's like a contrast. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. There you go. So now what we're going to be talking about with marketing is these are not available to everybody. Um... They're not going to be monetizing the game, I don't believe, until we've seen uh, a little more more of a proof of concept, sort of um, some gameplay, sh should yeah. we say. So, Mud, why don't you talk about that a little bit? Why, why you guys haven't done a Kickstarter yet? Why you haven't done... Why you're not selling these shirts to everybody? <laughs> okay, so first off, I want to clarify on the shirts, because I'm allowed to do that. <laughs> so, these shirts that you have are for us. The, the black, and, the oh, black okay. one is employees and partners um uh, of of undying games the shirt that jelly is wearing is going to be a limited time shirt that we will actually be selling but later um but it's going to be limited edition very limited quantities and it's going to just be like pretty like a special promotional shirt so right not everybody shirt. will be able to get that forever but also jelly has one <laughs> So what I'm hearing is that Mangoose and I need to place an order for all of them and then scalp them on yeah. eBay well, for $5,000 each. No, you need to get the bots to buy them so that you don't have to do it. And oh. then you scalp them online for eBay for $5,000. I'll get my 3080 $5. bot and just transfer it over to, to be an Ethereal shirt bot. There we go. Oh, yeah. don't You don't need Bitcoin. You just need Ethereal shirts. <laughs> um, but, yeah. No, that's what, the, those, are, that's what those shirts are going to be. Um the reason why we haven't done like a crowdfunding yet or anything like that is because we are going to want to do the proof of concept. As you said, we want to show gameplay first before we do any sort of crowdfunding, which we will be having. It's just we, we have to get to point A before we can do point B. We do have a plan. We do have a progression as on marketing. We do have uh, like phases and stuff that we are have planned to go. It's just we need to get there first to in order to do it. Yeah, I think... Um... As I've said before, and I'll say it again, if you guys start monetizing before we get some gameplay, then I will be <laughs> very angry. You'll get the mean goose, as I, as I called it. No, 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 <laughs> no. It sounds like you guys have the, uh, the correct order planned there. I think everybody wants proof of concept before we do anything. So. <laughs> yeah. Very I true. I think even Owen was in the Discord today talking about that, that the plan is to definitely show proof of concepts before mm -hmm. any kind of monetization. Which yes, was nice no. to see. Not that yeah. it's not nice to see from you, Mud, but also to see from the director of the yes, of the yes, game as well. Like it, we're basically that on all the same page. Are in agreement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or is a very important thing, at least for me to see yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Now you did mention crowdfunding. Uh, do you guys know what you have kind of have planned? Kickstarter, Indiegogo, that sort of thing. Yeah. So um, we have mentioned that we will be probably most likely doing a Kickstarter. Um, we. We're going to do the Kickstarter for to help get access for our pre-alpha phase. So basically, uh, keys will be sold 
there. Um, we will have like different tiers, but I can't tell you like the individual tiers themselves. I'm not allowed. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't tell us what you get with the different tiers or how much they're going to cost no. or anything like mm -hmm. that. Okay, that's fun. That's yeah, fun. we have it basically kind of set in stone. It's not like crazy or anything, but you know, just you know, the usual that you usually I mean, the important thing pre alpha access is tied into the kickstarter is yes. what you said correct okay mm -hmm. yep there'll be two phases of, of alpha but yeah the the kickstarter will get you a key oh good to go good to go mm -hmm. so some of the other monetization strategies since we're we're, we're on that topic all podcast what yeah. kind, what kind of things do you guys plan to do to monetize the game because you do need to be able to make it sustainable and uh all these people need to get paid including you bud you need to get paid too eventually eventually <laughs> yeah. but um so like loot boxes, what's, what's your stance oh. on loot boxes? <laughs> oh, <laughs> that loot boxes, not happening. <laughs> Why not? Um, so we, we believe uh, pretty across the board that loot boxes are not the greatest. Um, they basically, you pay into them and it's kind of like a chance of you getting what you want. We would rather have you just buy what you want. Like if you want a skin that we've released, go for it. We, we don't really want you to take Smite for instance. We don't want you to like, roll into a, a, a group of items and then maybe not even get what you're looking for and you're going to have to spend and spend money on extra rolls and everything we'd rather just have you have you like what you see buy what you want and we're pretty pretty happy with that you guys don't want your monetization to be predatory in that it requires yeah you don't want it to be a lottery a considerable amount of money in order yeah. to get the one thing that we wanted right is there any consideration already to uh, for lack of a better way to put it, skin pricings or or cosmetic pricings for the game? Uh, yes and no. They're not solidified, but they're definitely obviously talked about. Um, we have to. <laughs> it is it is uh, our department. Um, it, the, they're, the skin pricings aren't solidified, they're, but there will be um, skins coming out uh, with, with the alpha phases. Every myth will have a skin, so that is a plus. Um, so yeah, that would be great. <laughs> so that's good information. Okay. So I know that you guys aren't planning to roll out all of the myths like immediately as soon as the alpha starts. It's going to roll out in phases, but the myths Correct. that do roll out, those will yes. have alternate yes. skins, at least yes. one. Yes, one each, yes. And will though, for the alpha, is there monetization involved in the alpha? Like will, if I have an account right and i'm playing malaya and i buy do i need to buy her skin or will i have access to it in the alpha but no, won't later how is that going to work do you know <sighs> i know the myths themselves are going to be i believe free in the alpha so i don't think you have to buy those as like access these skins i don't know if we would for testing purposes i don't know particularly if we would roll them out free for testing phases and then maybe on like a, a solid beta or alpha release launch or sorry sorry a solid beta or like actual release if we would um bring up the the store and then you would have to buy them then so i'm not sure if the alpha phases are more of like a, you can test them out and then later on if we do like a, a beta or release phase if you would have to buy them then Mm. I'm not sure when the store is going up. I just know they're going with the game. <laughs> and and you may not have had You're this right. conversation yet. Have you guys talked about potentially doing similar to I know when Valorant released into its kind of open or closed mm. beta? Yeah. If you bought any of the premium currency to buy skins and things, mm -hmm. they refunded that with a percentage over. So oh. I think it was 120 percent of the currency. Yes, yes, yes. I remember Basically, that. Yeah. They, it lets people support you, but you're rewarding them for that support at the same time. Is that right. something you guys have considered? Um, we have talked about a lot of different, um, strategies on that end. Um, it also, I don't think we've talked about that one specifically, but we talked about a lot of different ways mm -hmm. to help out with the monetization and whatnot for like rewards for like alpha beta into the future. So I've never heard of that. That's a great idea. Yeah, they did that. That was great. I dropped some money on it. <laughs> yeah, and I did too. And it was one of the things to return on investment for the players, mm -hmm. but also help you support the development of the game right. earlier on right. without feeling like you're just going to lose out on that later. Right, right, right. Yeah, Overwatch, I played in, since, was it the alpha or just very, very, I think it was just very, very early beta. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
I unlocked so many skins and all this stuff, and then when the game came out, it was just all gone. Oh, it's all gone. It's so <laughs> sad. No, that's um, why. That's why I tried to preface. I'm not sure when the store comes out because I, I, I would, I would personally strongly fight if they were going to say erase what you unlocked. If you bought something, I mm -hmm. would strongly fight that that does not get erased because that would be that would just oh, feel yeah. bad. That would mm. feel terrible. Maybe with the um, currency that would be fine, but like, yeah, yeah. definitely. Right. Purchase something that. Right. Yeah. yeah no. Uh, what about a battle pass? You guys have thought about battle passes at all? We have. <laughs> oh shit. That sounds I, like a, yeah. That was I, a heavy yes. sigh attached to that. <laughs> yes. Well, I can't talk about the details on it we are fleshing it out so it is still in development we do have a plan for a battle pass it'll kind of resemble probably the same as an, as other battle passes that you see in games where it's like events and whatever you know what i mean um but we want that to be available for um our testing phases we are aiming to launch it for our testing phases um but it like i said it i can't tell you about mm -hmm. it but um, while it resembles a typical battle pass, we we are going to put our own twist on it, of course. <laughs> will there be the free and premium versions of the battle pass like you see a lot of the time, or will it just be one premium battle pass? Um, I don't think I can answer that for you. Okay. <laughs> Understandable. <laughs> I, think, I think that covers a lot of my questions. Most of my questions I had specifically about monetization for UG. Did you have anything else, Jelly? Not at the moment, I don't think. Okay. I, I just... hope I answered them for you guys okay. <laughs> you did! Actually, I do have a question. Okay. Slightly <laughs> towards monetization, but not necessarily at the same time. Okay. Um, is there a plan to kind of reset accounts in entering different phases? So, for instance, if Mangoose and I are in the alpha, mm -hmm. um, and when it goes into a, let's say it goes into an open beta, this is just conjecture. Right. Will our accounts be reset to a prior status Basically, to even the playing field for everyone going in on that open beta, or will it? Will we keep the progression we had before? See, I'm not sure about that. I do know if you buy into the alpha, you're in forever. Um, okay. Like it's a one-time, like between phases, it's a one-time thing. Um, but only the, I believe, only the alphas you have to actually buy into. I think the beta is free. But anyway, um, the but you won't be charged like again to get in you know what i mean like it won't mm -hmm. deny you access between the phases once you're in you're in i don't know if we would be resetting yeah i'm not entirely sure on that one i would have to get back to you <laughs> what about um the monetization of items because in paragon like <clears throat> you didn't have all the items you had to either stumble upon mm -hmm. them through um grinding them out or you had to buy the, the loot boxes for paragon to get oh those i items. forgot they did that yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh God. A lot of people do. A lot of people system, didn't yay. realize how big of a problem that was because, you know, if you I played, think I had too much currency to even yeah, have I to deal with it. Paragon from pretty early on, so right. I yeah. always had all the items mm -hmm. anyway. But like, yep. I imagine people just coming in and didn't oh, have no. something were just right screwed. Um, there, were, there were a lot of mandatory sort of items in Paragon. Do you guys? Are you guys? Are the items going to be available to everyone? Can you answer that at all or? I'm pretty sure they're going to be available to everybody. Okay. Okay. I'm like 90% sure on that. <laughs> I think right. if, if Owen comes with his knife, I'll let you know, but I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <I doubt it. laughs> so I'm, I'm just going to build full tank zero every game. I don't care uh -huh. what anybody tells me. <laughs> it's fine. Yep. I'll fly around full yep. tank zero doing zero How damage. You gonna fly with all that armor. Magic, dude. Yeah, he's got wings. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I think that's him enough. <laughs> that's it for just just straight up um ug questions i kind of wanted to just talk about monetization in general within the gaming okay. industry since we have a marketing person with us okay uh, <laughs> Mud, i'll pose this question to both you and jelly why do you think and i have my answer already i discussed it with uh mckinchy on his uh youtube channel but why do you think that monetization policies have become so predatory in recent times Oh, I think it's because a lot of, so you either see you, like you buy a game up front and then you kind of get some stuff and maybe some DLC later and you buy that. But I think I see the most predatory marketing strategies with free games because they have to make money. 
You know what I mean? Like they're giving you a game for free. That's a product they've spent like a lot on and they have to make that back. Otherwise it's a failed investment. So I think that's probably why a lot of marketing strategies I've seen from other games are so like they need to bring it in. You know what I mean? What about you, Jelly? I think I, I would agree absolutely that free games are the biggest culprits of monetization mm -hmm. aggression is the way mm -hmm. that I always think about it. But it seems like even, I mean, we've had several stories recently about games being shipped at a $60 price tag with ads in the middle of the game that are unskippable just <laughs> as part of the game, which doesn't make any sense. And it seems oh. like it's people, it's the inconvenience. If you're being inconvenienced in any way, I can charge you to get rid of that inconvenience. Oh Go to gang top lane, ad. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> did you want to gank here unfortunately you have to watch a 30 second ad oh gosh uh, and i think it's purely i do think and several times it's been said that games are getting more expensive to make because they need to look mm. nicer they take longer there's a whole bunch of things in there so i do think the gaming industry needs to price themselves upwards more than they have we've had a 60 dollar mm. price tag for a while yeah i'm not saying like skip to 100 bucks but I'd be okay with a gradual increase mm -hmm. with inflation kind of deal on the gaming industry if it yeah. meant we didn't get such predatory things like loot boxes or everything's a cosmetic or right. i mean in the case of valorant you've got skin mm -hmm. lines that are costing you a hundred dollars and then an extra hundred dollars on top of that to get upgrades for that skin mm -hmm. line oh i hate that that's yeah. insane like that wow. just doesn't make any sense for a skin in a video game that's free for me to right. spend two hundred dollars on one skin line is ridiculous. Yeah, that's the thing with a lot of the free-to-play games is you end up spending more on them mm -hmm. than you would if you would have just purchased the game up front. Mm -hmm. yes. I think the problem stems from the explosion of the mobile market. How, because mobile games came yeah. out, started to be free, and then they, mm -hmm. but they were using extremely predatory pricing, and then um. Because, you know, you get it on your phone. It's just a little dinky thing. You don't even realize you're spending that much money on it. And the next thing you know, you, you've dropped $300 on a very cheaply made uh, game, you know, just to buy the rubies or the gold or whatever. Just one more roll. That's yeah, like candy exactly. Crush. <laughs> they used to have figures that they would bring in millions of dollars a day from people just skipping a level for 99 cents. Yeah. they were on a tough level so for 99 cents they skip it and they would bring in millions of dollars a day for a game that you just swipe once and yeah. that's the game and they would make the game like that they would make one level just really hard and then the next few levels would be much easier so that yep. you would ugh. so it's almost like hitting a paywall yeah sort of mm. unless you were really good at candy crush <laughs> <laughs> i'm a pro <laughs> but yeah i think uh, i think a lot of the 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 pc gaming companies looked at that saw how much money was being made in the mobile market and decided to kind of swing that way and then um i'm not saying i mean you guys are going to be free to play but it's, mm -hmm. i'm not saying that you guys are automatically going to have predatory pricing because right. there's kind of rolling around indie companies i think especially need to be free to play anymore to compete in today's market to, right because people to, don't to want to get eyes on them. them yeah yeah exactly i think no we, i agree have seen a lot of evidence of that in some of the para zombies in that mm. the the early monetization or lack of return sometimes it puts off the community in in a lot of ways yeah and it raises the community's expectations too like if you right hard if they're paid for something they, they want to see, basically yeah which is why it's great that you guys are showing proof of concept before you're charging <laughs> anyone money yes <laughs> <laughs> Mangoose and I have had several conversations about that. Oh, okay. And, um, just on podcast and off. Yeah. Just about the, that if there is monetization beforehand, it will come across super, super sleazy. No, oh, yeah. So I'm really I, happy I totally to hear agree. that that's not mm -hmm. the uh, method you guys are going with. I don't know. I, I agree with that. If anybody tries, if we come to a meeting and somebody's like, hey guys, we have this great idea. I'll be like, no, wait, wait. wait. Stop it. <laughs> We're going to implement loot boxes at the beginning of every game no, that was where it. it's that just was a random hero. You don't even know who you're going to play. You're just going to loot box for your hero, and then that's the one you're playing. Congratulations. Mm. You, we've seen that with a lot of games, though. I've seen people start asking for money before they've ever done anything with the game, or they'll just stream them 
decking around in the Unreal Engine and then ask Well, for we had donations. that one Paragon project that yeah, Agora showed up. with an H. Yeah. That showed up, asked for money, and then disappeared just as quickly. Yes. Well, they, oh, that's unfortunate. They showed up, asked that. for money, disappeared, came back with a new website, but the only thing that worked on the website was the donation. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. It's crazy. They, they stuck oh, a lot of people in. I feel that... bad about that. Oh, that so just speaking, sounds like a scam. Speaking of websites, I have a question for you, Mud, that you might not be able to answer. Okay. <laughs> when is the updated website coming out? Can't tell you. <laughs> yep, knew that was the answer for that one. I literally check the website like every day. And I'm like, is it today? What? Nope, not today. Today? Nope, not today. Today? Nope, oh, not today. Boy. Oh, man. Man. Okay, Mud, so Sorry. with... <laughs> With a lot of the microtransactions out there, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. then you've got premium currency, regular right. currency, you've got all these right. different things. When's the yeah. trailer coming out? Oh, gosh. <laughs> Why is that the end? Gosh, you know. It was like money, was... money, money, money. <laughs> <video. laughs> Almost had very, her. Very smooth. Uh, almost had her. <laughs> oh, goodness. Well, Oh god, I can't answer. So you, okay, Mud, I have a question for you. <laughs> this this is great. This will cover all our bases, Mangoose. Oh, okay. <laughs> what were you prepared to tell us that we haven't asked you about? No, that's yeah. just it. <laughs> no, you asked you me sure? questions? Are you sure? What do you mean? You ain't got nothing else? You ain't no. got nothing else up your sleeve you didn't tell I us got... about? No. Not that right. I'm aware of. Is there something it was, I'm supposed it was worth to a talk shot. to you? It was about? Worth a shot. Yeah. <laughs> you know, she's like lo looking at like a release date on her screen that like we just can't see. And she's like, no, oh, not no, at all. no, 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 no. So about silly. It. I have that memorized. I don't need that on a screen. <laughs> <laughs> no, we just wanted to make sure that we got every ounce of information out of you that we could for for the people listening or watching. So no, I think I think it covered everything. We're not doing loot boxes. We really want you to buy what you want. Um there's the the one skin on on alphas or on, I'm sorry on testing phases so it would be alpha when they get put into the game um, and then you know Kickstarter gives you alpha access has multiple tiers but I can't tell you the specifics on it so yeah right on cool beans I have notes <laughs> so I guess I have a couple other questions that you may or may not have the answer to unrelated to marketing I'm sure oh okay to an extent to an extent. Um, how long do you do you have an idea how long the initial alpha phase will be? Will ah, it be 24 hour runtime or will it be weekends similar to what we're seeing? Oh, okay, I see. Okay, what's the, what's, what's the server uh, uptime on that? Um, so that that depends entirely on how the server performance goes. Um, okay. the I don't know if we're going to be doing. I think we would be. Mm, I can't even. I can't even. This is speculation. <laughs> uh, I I think. Uh, we would be doing like testing phases. However, I'm not sure how long those specific, the actual testing phases are, but okay. the space between the testing phases, like uh, pre alpha into regular alpha per se, uh, that would be entirely reliant on the bugs that the community finds, the fixes we need to do, patches, whatever, et cetera. Um, the, at the initial how we're going to be doing it, I'm not sure if it's going to be open 24 7 or just like a weekend thing. Okay. So, Mangoose, do you hear that? That means you have to not break anything. <laughs> no, 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 no. We want you to oh, break no. stuff. You yeah, need to fix I will, it. <laughs> I will break stuff all day long. <laughs> we need to fix stuff. If you fall off the map, we need <laughs> to know. Well, yeah, we just need to make sure that everybody's reporting everything. Mm -hmm. That's what we need. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. All right. So, you guys, uh, is that anything else, Jelly? You got anything else for, for Mud? That's all my questions for now. I think, I think that's all I got. <laughs> Mud, anything you want to plug before we go? Uh, I mean, I stream on Twitch, uh, Mud X underscore. <laughs> I'll have that linked in the uh, That's about it. <laughs> description below. Jelly? Uh, same <laughs> as usual. Twitch.tv slash Jelly Nice, you know, hang out. Uh, but Mangu, something we always forget, especially because this is going on your YouTube. Mm -hmm. um, subscribe to Mangoose. Oh, yeah. Get updates on more uh -huh. ethereal stuff. I don't think blah, we've blah, said blah, it. Blah, blah, blah. Like and subscribe, time. bell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like the typical don't, YouTube nah, shill I, stuff. I, but... I hate doing that shit. <laughs> <laughs> also, Mangoose, what uh, horrifying thought are you going to leave us with this week? Oh, God. Um... What? That's going to be all for now for Mud, Jelly Knees, and I. Thank you all for tuning in. You guys have a good one. <laughs>
Mangoo!